Uh, Matt, it seems Jeff Clark, my guess about him is that it's very likely that he will show up to testify. Uh, it's also very likely he will take the Fifth Amendment to virtually every question. I think that's likely. I think it's it certainly he's going to have to show up and testify. He really is an island by himself. If you look at the way he was behaving in those final weeks, uh, he was acting completely beyond his authority. He's supposed to be in charge of environmental crimes and, and the civil division and was conducting his own uh, invest investigations or supposed investigations into voter fraud. He was violating multiple department rules, um, and having contacts with the White House, having contacts with members of Congress, both of which he was not allowed to do on his own. And of course, violating his his oath to the Constitution by trying to overturn the election, and he really is, uh, you know, out there by himself because you know we've seen Jeffrey Rosen and we've seen one of Jeffrey Rosen's uh, subordinates up testifying before Congress because the Justice Department has already told Rosen and Clark and other DOJ officials from this time period that the department is waiving all of the relevant privileges. Usually, the department blocks its officials from coming up and testifying. Uh, for matters like this, claiming multiple privileges. And they've wa waived all of them, and that's true for Jeffrey Clark. So, you know, if, if he wants to avoid a criminal referral uh, to, and, and being charged with criminal contempt of Congress, you know, he needs to come up and comply with a subpoena and testify, um, because otherwise he's in a blatant contempt of Congress. Now, to your point, if he wants to take the fifth, of course, that's his right. To, to, to That's his right. He can do so. But he doesn't have the ability to just blow off the subpoena like he seems to want to do. So, uh, Matt, uh, one of the changes in the 21st century compared to the Nixon era is just how breathtakingly slow the courts are at the district court level, the appeals court level, uh, on all of these enforcement issues on congressional subpoenas. What about the, the Justice Department will now be tested when uh, the Congress refers uh, to, to the Justice Department for criminal prosecution of uh, contempt of Congress? Uh, we don't know how quickly the Merrick Garland Justice Department will be able to move on this. Uh, and in, in, you know, in the past, it, these kinds of things have been able to be handled very, very quickly. What is your expectation of a timetable at the Justice Department for this? I would expect they could move pretty quickly. Look, the Justice Department has a rule that they will not prosecute someone for contempt of Congress if they are refusing to, to, to testify because there has been a legitimate claim of executive privilege by the president of the United States. It ought to be pretty easy for the attorney general to pick up the phone, call the White House counsel and say, Dana, did the president, did President Biden invoke executive privilege for Jeff Clark, for Steve Bannon, or any of these other witnesses? And when the answer is no, as we know the answer is, it's a pretty straight up and down prosecution. And I actually think the Justice Department could do more to send a signal to these witnesses and to all of the other witnesses we know that the, 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 this committee and other committees want to talk to from the Trump administration by just making it clear that if you are, are not the subject of an executive privilege assertion by the sitting president of the United States, not Donald Trump, but Joe Biden, and you blow off a congressional subpoena and refuse to, to testify, you are not immune from prosecution, and we will take those referrals very seriously. These witnesses are, are acting with impunity because four years they got away with it no, with no consequences. And if DOJ sent that kind of signal right now, I think you'd see some of these people coming up and testifying even before it got to a subpoena and not kind of playing chicken with, with Congress and playing chicken with the Justice Department the way they're doing now.